Brie, I'm Claudia and on this channel I do really deep, intelligent, intellectual, you know, proper clever content, like real deep stuff that makes you think. So in the spirit of that, today I will be taking a BuzzFeed quiz to determine which Jane Austen heroine I am. Okay, so this is maybe a little bit of a plan B video. I was planning to do my June wrap up today, but I don't know if you can tell by my sexy voice, but I'm a bit ill. I basically just crawled out of bed to record this video. So I thought instead of reading my way through a very lengthy wrap up video, uh, I'd just do a little short fun quiz video instead. I will link the BuzzFeed quiz in the description box so you can go check that out, take it, you might even want to play along with me and see which Jane Austen heroine you get. Before we get started let me tell you which answer I'm hoping for and which answer would absolutely mortify me. So I'd be quite pleased to get an Eleanor Dashwood. I wouldn't mind an Anne Elliot. Uh, obviously an Elizabeth Bennet, all good, but I would be absolutely horrified to find out that I'm indeed a Marianne Dashwood or a, oh god forbid, a Fanny Price. That, that would put me off myself for a very long time. So let's get started. I've not seen this quiz yet, so I'll be reading the answers out loud as I see them. The first question is, how would your friends describe you? And the answers are passionate, level-headed, clever, generous, shy, funny, sweet, modest, or loyal. Now, I know which one I like to think I am, but what would my friends describe me as? Um, certainly not shy, funny, modest, sweet and loyal. I don't think I'm any of those things. Personally, I don't think I'm very generous either because I'm a bit of a selfish bitch. So I'm going to go for level-headed and I think that's mostly because a lot of my friends are a bit younger than me, so maybe <laughs> uh, the kind of tiredness of life that comes with your late 20s hasn't quite hit them yet, uh, which might look to others as me being level-headed. So I'm going to go for that one. Oop, is it going to skip to the next question? No, I'm going to have to do all the scrolling by myself. All right then. Choose a pastime. Singing. <laughs> no. Embroidery. I wish, I genuinely wish I was any good at any sort of handicrafts. Music. Now this is a fun one. Music used to be my career, I guess. Musical performance. My uh, studies were heavily focused on musical performance but I haven't pursued musical performance in any serious way for about two years, so definitely not. Gardening, again, I wish. If there's one thing I wish I'd inherited from my mother, it would be her talent for gardening. Languages, not so much a hobby as just a skill I have. Painting, <laughs> no. Reading, writing, gossip. Okay, I do like a bit of gossip, but again, I wouldn't necessarily describe it as my favourite pastime. Writing, again, I do for my studies, but not as a hobby. The really obvious answer here is reading, isn't it? I mean, this is a booktube channel after all. We all know I like reading. I know you like reading. That's why you're watching this. So I'm going to go for reading. Choose an app. I think that this is maybe where you find out how old this quiz is because I haven't actually checked the date on it. Facebook? No. I really want to delete my personal Facebook account but it's the only way that I stay in touch with a lot of people and know what goes on in their lives so uh, as much as I dislike it I'm keeping Facebook but it's not my favourite app. I have no idea what HQ trivia is. No idea. Instagram? Quite like Instagram. Messenger? Not so much. Again, more a necessity than something I actually enjoy. Netflix. Do not have Netflix. Do not have Snapchat. Uh, I do have Spotify, Twitter and of course YouTube. Now you might think I'm going to go for YouTube because... Hello. 
but I think my favourite app is actually Twitter. I really enjoy scrolling through Twitter, I really enjoy reading other people's tweets. Uh, if there's anything going on in the news, I will follow the hashtag. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description box if you like. It's a very random feed, mostly made up of uh, political opinion, booktube stuff and just general conversation. I'm really selling it, aren't I? So I'm going to go for Twitter here, although Instagram is a close second and so is YouTube. Let's go to the next question. Choose a vacation destination and uh, get the choice of nine by the looks of it. Sydney? No. Why would I go to Australia? Literally everything there can kill you. Cairo? Mm, that's somewhere I've always wanted to go. When I was a teenager, my school actually organized an exchange with a school in Cairo but uh, my parents couldn't afford to send me, so unfortunately I had to stay at home. But I really enjoyed uh, the Cairo students visiting my school, that was quite fun. New Delhi, again, gorgeous place from you know the images you see, and not somewhere I've ever been. Tokyo? I'm less keen on Tokyo, I think generally because I'm not that keen on huge cities. I mean, all of the places that have been mentioned so far are huge cities, but I feel like Tokyo is more urban than some of the other places. Paris, now I have been to Paris and it was great, but I don't really feel a particular draw to go there again. Swiss Alps, I think that might be the pick because the Swiss Alps are gorgeous and where I'm originally from in South Germany is really not that far from the Swiss border, so I've been on day trips to the Swiss Alps and uh, you know driven through there loads of times and it's a really a beautiful place. I think I might end up picking that. New York City, I've actually been there once as well with Bill's parents for just a weekend. It was very odd and I barely remember anything about it. London, don't like going there to be honest. I occasionally have to go for research purposes but I never really enjoy it. And the Bahamas, I mean, yeah, what's not to love about a beach? I do like a good beach. But here I am actually going for the opposite of a beach, which is the Swiss Alps, because ah, just looking at that picture there, you know, from my hometown, actually, in really good, in really good weather, you can see the Swiss Alps from just on top of a hill in my hometown and it just makes me feel like home. Choose a teen movie. I am going to fail spectacularly at that question. I don't really watch many movies. I think that's because I have the attention span of a toddler and I tend to fall asleep at the cinema and also I just prefer watching television in smaller chunks, you know like 25 to 60 minute chunks like you get in a TV show. So I'm not that familiar with movies. Let's see which of these I've even seen because honestly, most of these are not familiar to me. So I have seen a Cinderella story. I think this is the one with Hilary Duff, right? Oh, another thing I should mention here because this is gonna sound really dumb to you, but I am face blind so I don't recognize any of the people in the pictures. Uh, if you look at all of these blonde actresses, they all look the same. And I mean, these two guys from the first and the second pictures are identical. Uh, because, like, I literally cannot tell faces apart. So, I have seen a Cinderella story. I also saw Cruel Intentions, possibly when I was a little bit too young to watch it. Because I remember being very confused by that film. I've not seen She's the Man. I've not even heard of Easy A. Uh, Minerva. Minerva's playing with a plug cover. I'm sure this is fine. Uh, 10 things I hate about you. Heard about it, not seen it, get over it, never heard of it. Don't know what O is. She's all that, whatever it takes. I've not seen any of them except for the first two. So which one am I going to pick for out of a Cinderella story and Cruel Intentions? I think a Cinderella story. Cruel Intentions I really remember being quite weird. The next question, which attribute do you look for most in a partner? 
Generosity. Yes. I think so. Ch chivalry? Nah, a bit of an outdated concept. Kindness, definitely. Confidence? Not necessarily. Devotion? Devotion sounds a bit creepy. You know what I mean? I think loyalty may have been a better term here. Intelligence? Yes. And equality? Definitely. Diligence? What does that mean? Does that mean doing the housework every day? Um, what's diligence in this context? I don't know. Honesty? Definitely. But I think here I'm going to go for equality because that is an aspect that's very important to me in a relationship. Oh, that was it. <gasps> I got Fanny Price. This video is never going to see the light of day.